Hello, everyone. My name is Siobhan, um, and I'm a professional development specialist here at FreshGrade, and I have Scott Hayhurst on the line. Scott Hayhurst is going to be leading today's webinar, and he is a middle school teacher at Okanagan Mission Secondary in Kelowna. He has his Master's of Education with a focus on electronic portfolios, which has helped him um, lead fresh grade in his classroom for the last four years. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Scott and he's gonna take it away the webinar today. It will be just a short uh, little 15 minute webinar with some time for questions at the end. So if you have any questions, do feel free to ask them at the end of the webinar. Um, and just so you know, we are recording today's webinar. So you will get an automatic copy of that recording to your inbox. All right, Scott, you there? I'm here. All right, so I'm gonna pass it over to you. There you go. All right. Scott, I'm just going to mute myself so I'm not making any noises. Thank you. Now that we don't mind hearing from you. Um, so welcome everybody. Oh, let me just check some screens here. Um, yes, my name is Scott Hayhurst and uh, if you'd like to follow along, I do have an interactive slide deck here today under bit.ly and that is FG parent vid in case you want to go follow any of the links off of there. Uh, as well down in the bottom right uh, any of the fresh grade help that you might need uh, if you want to follow me afterwards at beyond the teach on twitter uh, i'm always interested to in see what other people have to share uh, along the way so today's webinar fresh teacher tips is on introducing parents to fresh grade through video um, to get, share my story along with this it was exactly one year ago i believe it was september 10th or 11th that I was kind of toying with the idea of like, how do I make my grade seven parents comfortable with uh, a school that goes from grade seven to 12? And we spent a lot of time with learning communities, but I wanted to send something out um, again to just let people know what my class was about. So I made a video introduction, just a quick uh, one or two minute video that went along with the course outline but it gave the parents the ability to see me and it was only about two weeks later that we did a parent night and the feedback from parents was great they came in and they felt like they already knew me they thanked me for the video kids would come up in class and say you know what mr ayers my parents like the video they think you're going to be okay this year so it was that way to make a nice uh positive first impression uh the first bit of communication just being a bit more personal than my usual course outline that i send home in that first week uh, and as you go through this and I talk about the videos, I want you to think about when a might, uh, video might work for you. So what other situations could you possibly send a video instead of just the, the average text that we send home? We know that at times uh, our words can be taken out of context and it's kind of nice to have the video that I like to think with a smile, a lot of things change and are just in, are a little bit better anyways. Uh, we always go with the pedagogy first. So just because I made a video, you don't just need to follow along and, and try the technology out. You want to find your own why. Uh, some of the whys that I found are why I wanted to use fresh grade videos. One, it, it created a little bit more engagement for parents. Um, I like to think my course outlines are fantastic and the syllabus is interesting. Sorry, pardon. Um, but I know that they're kind of boring and dry. So by just directing the parents to fresh grades and finding the course outline, I felt it was a bit more interesting anyways. Uh, it also provided the face to the name. And I, my son just started grade two and I was asking about his teacher, what she liked, that sort of thing. And about all I could find out was that she was younger than my wife. So I don't know how to take that, but I can't wait to actually meet her in person. So you can kind of put together those emails that we've been getting and that sort of thing. I also found that there's not just the first introductory uh, video to send out, but other important information along the way. I, I teach English, I teach social studies, but I've always found in grade seven, public speaking causes anxiety. And so when we do our public speaking unit or various things like that, I really like to let the parents know that I face the same fears, that I found ways to get through it, and just the steps we're gonna take through the whole process to make the students feel more comfortable and let them know that they can trust me and the teacher in making the right decisions. 
and the other time that I've sent uh, videos is for assessment changes. So our district is going through obviously quite a number of different changes with the redesign curriculum and changing our report cards. We as grade sevens last year didn't do the first term report card. We decided to send home other alternate uh, information and it was nice to be able to send a video to them to let them know like, hey, this is why we're doing it the way we are. This is how assessment is changing. And beyond that, I think it just shows effort that we're trying to engage the parents. And above all, it's really quick and easy to do. It can take only a few minutes, so why not do it? Uh, just to mention back to that, uh, getting the parents involved, uh, we know from Hattie's research that it is one of the top influences of student achievement. And as you can see, the five things listed there that Fresh Grade is really well known for, parent engagement is one of them. So the earlier that we can and the more personal we can get this communication out to them, the better, I, I think. Uh, a few tips that you may want to think about with dealing or when making contact with parents. Limiting the educational lingo and acronyms. Every district and every every school has their own little acronyms, and whether it's IEPs or PLOs or LDs or TOCs or all that sort of stuff. Um, to really break down the wall between home and school, we, we really need to make sure that we avoid some of those things that may make them feel uncomfortable and not knowing what some, some of these things are. Uh, again, I mentioned before, the assessment and reporting may need further explaining. With FreshGrade and the awesome feature that you can customize your own scales, it's nice to at least explain to parents how you, which different things you're going to do for assessment, what's going to be formative, what do your scales look like, what do they mean, how do we convert that to letter grades or percentages or things that need to be on the district report cards. And it's it's a very even in the eight teachers in my grade seven cohort we all use slightly different assessment and i know myself i've gone scaleless this year so it's really needs some explaining of why i'm doing things the way i am uh, one other piece is the communication expectations between parents and teachers so how much should the parents be doing on fresh grade what should they be expecting do they have to make comments they weekly all the time what sort of thing there we don't want to cause extra stress we want fresh grade to be something that helps in parent communication not making it more stressful or difficult so whatever you want to lay out with them now's a good time to say hey you don't need to do anything you can do it once a week you can whatever the case may be for your own classroom uh, parent prompts. If you want to follow the link there afterwards, uh, there's a handout here that has some fresh grade parent prompts. So things that they can start to add on in their own comments just to help guide them and again make parents feel more comfortable with this. So to get started, um, all you need to do first is choose your content. What do you want to tell them? What sort of things do you want to get across? Um, I would suggest just a few minutes. It's easier to upload in FreshGrade and get it out. I don't know how the attention span of your parents, if you have a hour long video going over everything, but choose your content, uh, choose a nice setting, make sure there's nothing weird in the background for you. Practice your scripts. I, I was lucky, I think I got introduced by, or uh, um, interrupted a couple times. And so I had to go through it a few, few different takes, I guess. Uh, remember to smile, parents like that hide anything that may uh, may make you feel weird or something like that. And just record it on your iPad or phone or computer, whatever technology you have. It's as simple as that. Now, once you're uh, on the FreshGrade interface here, I'm just gonna switch screens here and take you over to the dashboard and show you just how easy it is. So there's three main ways you can go through. If I start just on the, on the FreshGrade main website here, all I'm gonna do is click on the quick ad. Clicking on there gives me the option to write any notes I may have um, at the beginning of the year and then upload the file. Simply click on the, for me, fresh grade intro video, open on there and I can send that out that easily after I choose the students. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is how fast the quick ad works. And that's gonna be sent to, to all of them. Option two. Now, perhaps you did wanna send out more of a video or have various things on there. You could send uh, an announcement to either everyone, your students and your parents, or just one of those two parties. 
and perhaps a link to a YouTube if you had a longer video in some cases. Obviously not the, the as easy as the quick ad, but still another option if you wanted to do, decide who you were sending it out to. And a third way that I thought you could if you wanted to, you can go through your grade book and actually add an activity and go through and just scroll down to the add resource and again add your video on that. This option would give you the ability to change some things, add more labels, add other resources in there as well. And again, uh, you can choose the different students that you want with that. So there's three main ways that you can go on and add those. And you'll see that um, with any one of these, if you click on the links, it'll take you through to the FreshGrade website where they give quick little uh, how-to videos or instructions on how to do those three different things. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, I hope after you've had this quick little video on how powerful video can be instead of perhaps just sending home other announcements and just the the way that we can break down the walls between parents and teachers and let them into our classroom as a, as a window or as a door, if you like, to be able to see just what it is that we do here at school. So, um, we do have a bit of time. There's one thing I can share with you. Um, We do have the handouts available and the video, I believe, is uploaded on here. Yep, so I can share it, Scott, if you Thank are you. able yeah. to find it. Yeah. Somewhere on one of these tabs. I'm going to take back the presentership, okay? Great. Thank you. All right, so there's your intro video. Not that we have to watch the whole thing, but to give you a, nothing worse than watching your own self on video. Hello, welcome to OKM. My name is Scott, or Mr. Hayhurst, as I'm generally called around here. I just wanted to introduce myself to you so you could put a face to the name if they ever came home and talked about what they did at school that day. Uh, if not, hopefully now that you're logged on to FreshGrade, you're able to see what they've been doing in, in class. Uh, keep up with the different things. I'll be sending home monthly announcements so you can keep up to date on what we're been, what we've been doing in in school. Um, super excited. That looks great, Scott. Do you want the screen back? Oh, we can't hear you. Nope, that's okay. It's hard enough okay. watching myself there. Uh, if you just want to, uh, we can go straight to questions if you'd like. Sure, that sounds great. So just so we do know, there is a handout in the handout section of your GoToWebinar panel there that will show you some leading tips and communications that you can do with your parents um, to help guide those conversations for them. I'm also, Scott, are you okay if I share out your slide deck? Yes, go for it. Yes, so I'm going to add that into the chat panel. So everybody will have the link to Scott's slide deck there, and you can go ahead and access everything that he's linked into that um, slideshow as well. So if we have any questions, you can throw them in the questions panel um, in the GoToWebinar panel there. Um, and it's just as simple as throwing it in, and we'll take that question in and we'll answer it. If nobody has any questions, that's totally okay too, because this was such a um, great presentation. Uh, we do have one comment here and question. I'll read it out. So it's, uh, it says, great idea, Scott. How has FreshGrade changed your relationship with parents? Do you have any success stories? Uh, that's, that's a great question. Uh, it's definitely made it easier, the relationship with parents. I feel the more proactive I can be sending stuff out, the more they understand and so I, month, between the monthly announcements and just the various posts that the students make and the comments we put on there and welcoming the parents to also make comments if they'd like but not feel pressured to, it's, it's made it a lot closer. I think the parents just trust a lot more that they know what's going on and it's only been positive. I 
get very few actual emails from parents asking questions because I think most of it's just on fresh grade now of how the students are doing, the various ways that they could support them and um, keeping them up to date on what, what our learning intentions are for each month or each week that we go through. The success stories beyond that, I mean, some parents use it more than others. And you'll see those ones are the ones that are constantly commenting. You can see that they check every day that something's posted. Um, for me, the biggest one is uh, I run a slam poetry unit. And it's one thing to get up in front of the class. It's even tougher to get up and perform a slam poem for, <laughs> for, your, for your peers. So this has always been one that I really walk the students through and let the parents know but that's the one that I will get phone calls and stuff from parents just saying how thankful they are that they knew the stress that their son or daughter had gone through for the weeks leading up to the presentation but then to be able to see them rock the presentation and hear the hear the audience cheer and stuff like that really makes it so much more powerful than just you know saying great job on your slam poem here's what you did well it's for them to be able to see it so I think to me that has kept the parents the happiest is when they get to see those in-class presentations that they usually wouldn't see. Yeah, that's great, Scott. And just so for back knowledge here, the reason that I invited you to do this um, webinar for us was because I had a parent come to me and show me um, your fresh grade portfolio that you curated for her child. And she talked about the power of this video and how amazing it was to have an intro video um, and be introduced in that way. So that's how we even found out about what you're doing because we heard about it from a parent. <laughs> so we have one more question here. How much work is incorporating fresh grade into your classroom? Is it a lot of extra work? Uh, no, the simple answer is it's now the first year. Obviously, there's a little bit of like, OK, how do I do this? Um, by having other teachers around me and stuff like that, we can sort through all the different things that we don't know how to do and we learn really fast. It's such a simple interface to go through that it's the simple instructions make it good for anybody. Having grade seven students and having some technology in the classroom makes it really easy because they, they do just about everything. So I'll make the activities and upload certain resources and whatnot. But when it comes to them showing their own work, I believe the full portfolio uh, it's way more powerful when they are putting things up there. They're the ones reflecting on it. So it's less me going around and video doing things like that. Uh, for the SLAM presentation, for example, I did use it, um, or I did record it myself on a school iPad, and it was so easy. It, it doesn't get in the way of me enjoying their presentations. It's so fast on the, uh, on the iPad app that it was easy. That's fantastic. Well, Scott, I want to say thank you for um, leading this webinar today. We really appreciate you taking some time out of your really busy schedule, especially in the first couple weeks of school there for you. Um, and thank you everyone for attending today's webinar. You will automatically receive a recording of this webinar to your email inbox, as well as it will be available on the Learning Center. So we look forward to seeing you um, hopefully in the next webinar. Next Monday, we have a webinar by Dean Ganey on on reflections and reactions. So hopefully we'll see you there. Have a nice evening, everyone. Bye-bye.